So at eight weeks um, in utero, uh, the, fetus, the fetal brain looks the same. But in males, there's a surge of testosterone. And what this does is it actually decreases the cells in the communication center in the brain and grows more cells in the aggression center in the limbic system in the male. Okay. Girls, however, come out wired for mutual gazing. So over the first three months of life, a girl's skill in eye contact and mutual facial gazing increase over 400%. She's born interested in emotional expression. And girls take meaning from a look, a touch, um, every reaction. They interpret an emotionless face as that they have done something wrong. So you can imagine um, a depressed mother with a flat face, how a baby girl might react to that, or a woman who's had Botox with an expressionless <laughs> face. So obviously, a baby gazing at this face is going to have a better response. So um, the, this greater ability for facial gazing indicates a brain that's more mature than boys by one or two years. <clears throat> so girls from age one to three ex also experience something called infantile puberty. And this, um, this is a time when the ovaries are producing a huge amount of estrogen and it's comparable to the amount that uh, a, uh, an adult woman has. Um, so these high this high quantity of estrogen stimulates the brain circuits and grows uh, the neurons that have to do with observation, communication, and bonding. So estrogen is priming these innate female brain circuits so that the little girl can master her skills in social nuance and later in life promote her fertility. So research shows that stressed mothers can cause their baby girls to incorporate their stressed nervous system that change the girl's perception of reality. And it's absorbed at the cellular level, and, at the, uh, and it's called epigenetic imprinting. Boys may not incorporate so much of their mother's nervous system. So the main job of girls is connection. If she can read faces and voices, she can tell what an infant needs when she's a mom. She can predict what a, a, a more aggressive male is going to do, and she may band together with other cave women to, to, to fend off a ticked off caveman. So typically non-testosteronized, estrogenized, estrogen ruled girls are very invested in uh, preserving harmonious relationships. So there's a rare enzymatic deficiency called congenital adrenal hyperplasia where the fetus is exposed to high levels of uh, testosterone produced by the adrenals. And these girls at one year come out more interested in, uh, they make less eye contact, they're more interested in roughhousing and fantasy play uh, with monsters and superheroes. They have less, they do better in spatial um, skills um, like boys do, they do worse in uh, verbal skills and intimacy and, um, and empathy. And this implicates the testosterone and not just genes affect social communication. And these girls, some of them tend to have uh, there may be more homosexuality in these girls. <laughs>